here at Clarion High School with the seniors from the Clarion volleyball team, which finished uh, as a PIAA semifinalist this year, and uh, ladies number two in the state by the coaches' ranking. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Uh, we're just going to sit around here and have a little bit of a conversation about your season, your careers, you know, what sticks out the most for you guys. So uh, I guess we'll start with this. Um, you finished third in District 9. Uh, obviously the loss to Otto Eldred couldn't have been an easy one because I know you had goals to win a district title. Did you guys have any sit down, talk with each other about how to respond from a loss like that? Um, I think that, you know, like we set goals every season before the season starts and I think we obviously wanted to win KSAC in district but that didn't happen for us and I think like we just kind of sat down and said like, okay, States is our like that's our ultimate goal so that's what we need to focus on now and so we just kind of put districts and everything in the past and went for our real goal when you lose that 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 semifinal game it's a little different than the experiences you've had in the past because it was on a separate day did having the extra day off in between and not having to play right away help you guys yeah it did and like <clears throat> at the beginning coach like um talk to us about writing our own story and that the pressure of <clears throat> not winning so like we wrote our own story so like the pressure of not winning like KSAX or <clears throat> sorry or um the district like we get to like write our own story I can't do this <laughs> <laughs> it's okay Alexis you'll be fine um everybody will, everybody everybody will understand it's that time of year that colds happen so. <laughs> um the the playing at 9 a.m. Sid, um, you know, that's I, I know you guys do that sometimes during like tournament play, but they actually have to play a, a full five set type of game, even though that only went four at 9 a.m. Um, in St. Mary's. Uh, it had yeah. to be a different bit of a schedule for you guys. I mean, it was definitely tough. Um, obviously, like the game to win the district is a little later. But we have Saturday practices in the morning, so that definitely prepared us. But like right off the bus, we ate a good breakfast and we got going fast, so we didn't have any time to rest, so it worked out. Uh, that one was, was fairly close through the first two sets. Um, what kind of changed for you guys? I mean, the whole thing was close, but like it seemed like uh, once you guys get into a flow, you got into a flow. Did you feel right. that that was the way things went? Yeah, definitely. Um, then you get into the state playoffs, and you know you're going to get a tough team right out of the bat being the third place team out of District 9. You have Bishop Canavan. You have to go all the way down to North Huntington to Norwin High School. Um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a longer trip than trips that you're used to making again. Um, what's the mind frame going into a game like that? Do you kind of feel like you have nothing to lose? Yeah. Obviously, like, our uh, goal of the K winning the KSAC and winning the district, that, was, that wasn't in the – picture anymore so yeah we really felt like we had nothing to lose so we just put it all out there uh, yeah and I think like going down there we had already played Bishop Canavan prior in the, the off season and we beat them pretty good so we were, we were kind of going in with the confidence kind of that we had already played them and they knew that and I think like the games were, they were pretty close and we, we went to buy with them and I think like we were just kind of thinking like the whole time like okay like and we did not play well at that game at all and like we were just thinking okay we're not playing well and we're still beating them so like we can do this and we fought hard and we won. how important was it to win that first set against them though considering that you know you knew that you had confidence against them and maybe they were thinking uh oh we're playing a team that gave us trouble so how important was that first set it was really important it set the tone for the rest of the game it showed them that um like we like winning the first set like it you know, it kind of like foreshadows the rest of the games and it just showed like we were strong and we we're different than what we were at the beginning of the year. I, you know, and then that second set and the red card, and that's not something you see a lot. Uh, <laughs> did it, how do you, did it, did it affect anything? Like from your perspective, were you guys maybe more fired up that because of what happened? Yeah, we were excited. They were down on themselves, even though we lost that match. Like that set, like it didn't matter. Like we were fired up. We were like, because he had to sit down, and like they were shut down, and we were like screaming, and it like really started to get into their heads. Then you know the you you lost on the one side of the court twice in that uh, in that match, and then you end up with that side of the court in the fifth set. <laughs> Is I you know I, look 
all athletes are superstitious to some extent. Yeah, yeah, um, so is there any worry that, that you're on that side of the court? I mean, you know, now that it's over, you could admit that if there was, <laughs> but. I mean, a little bit, but we have our families as our fan section and like they were on that side. And anytime we're like near them, like they give us energy. Like we could not have done what we've done without them. Like they have been our biggest supporters. And, like, really appreciative of it. Yeah, I think, like, that game, especially that fifth set, like, the seniors kind of got together and were like, okay, like, this could be it. Like, this could be the last time we're playing. Like, we just kind of came together and we're like, it's not going to be. Like, we're going to finish this set and we're going to win. So that was also, we had a lot of <laughs> drive. Cause, yeah. Uh, and, and then, you know, you, you're, you're facing Northern Cambria and you would played a tough five-setter with them earlier in the season. What's the mindset going into that one? I mean, Obviously, well, we knew that they beat us like prior to that, but we knew like as a team that we've developed over the season, we've gotten stronger, and we knew so much about Northern Cambria. We had a game plan going into it, and like as we started playing and like winning, we were like, all right, like we got this, like we're gonna win this game. Uh, Maya, the first two sets there are really pretty close, and and then the last two, you guys just really seem to take over. What was the difference? I think it was because we just kind of let everything out on the table. We realized that we it was either now or never. We could either win this or be done, and we just kind of kicked it into high gear. And Obviously, the result against uh, Maplewood wasn't what you guys were hoping for. But then, when you see what Maplewood does, uh, and you know what they really did to everybody all year, um, does it? It doesn't detract from anything, does it? No, we were really appreciative to make it to the final four. Like, we no one thought, even we didn't even think we'd get it this far after Case Ice and Districts. Um, honestly, we didn't think we'd get this far. And so I'm really proud of, you know, overcoming, you know, the odds of everyone saying, oh, you're not going to go far, you're going to be the first ones out. And so, yeah, you know, we do wish that um, we had the chance to go to States since it was so close. But, um, yeah, we were really appreciative. When, when you look at, at the season, uh, and, you know, it was obviously a mixed bag. You, you wanted the KSEC, you wanted District 9, neither of those happened. But at the end of the day, you went further than anybody in District 9. Um, what, what kind of lesson does that teach? Um, I think it just kind of teaches you to like, not think about the past, always keep looking to the future and never give up on yourselves because if we would have given up on our season and ourselves, we would have never made it that far. We just kind of got put, you need to keep, keep pushing all the way through. I mean, obviously it's a different sport, but there were a lot of similarities to what the baseball team did. Uh, you know, they they lose in the, in the championship and go. W w did any of the guys talk to you about any of that? Or was that ever brought up? Was, was there any thought process along those lines that, hey, if they could do it, so could we, or anything like that? Uh, not really. We just kind of, some of us talked to them about like how well our uh, programs have been doing in the past few years and it's just been really exciting for our school I think. Um, when you look at the season what are your, each of your best memories from this year? Um, I think our <laughs> uh, junior we go to team camp every single year and that was definitely fun this year just because like we were playing together and we didn't really know how the season was going to go because we lost some really key players last year um, Gloria Pro and Live Burns and so we were just kind of like yeah like whatever happens I guess and we kind of like we were like playing the first few games and we were like okay like we're, this season is going to be good and so that was really exciting and we always have fun <laughs> together at tournaments mm -hmm. so and I think uh, definitely making it to the final four was a really great memory that I remember. And even like <clears throat> after the game at Auto Eldred I think the practices and everything after that everything turned like we look like a brand new team like we I mean everything was just coming together like it should and I think that was like definitely a fun part seeing like the block get up and finally you know doing what they know how to do and so like that was really exciting. I think my favorite part was like the whole experience like obviously this is my senior year and like all of our seniors but um, coach like um, told us again and again like this is your last year have no regrets and like as soon as we started buying into what she was saying, like our whole team transformed and that was my like favorite part, seeing our team like overcome so many challenges and like we were so far into the state playoffs and it was just great to see that my last year.
for me being my senior year is real, also really cool to make it this far, but it was also really cool to grow with the group of girls that we did this year. Uh, this year has been definitely by far my favorite year playing just because of how close and like the chemistry shared on the court as well. Uh, you know, this was a young team and it really started with uh, with, with, with Brenna at Setter. And, you know, I know you guys had known her because she's Coach's daughter and all of that, but, um, you know, what did you guys as seniors do to help some of the younger kids and, and really Brenna being a freshman and being thrust into a role that not very many freshmen in Clarion history have been thrust into? Um, I think Brenna, because of, you know, like the history with Clarion Volleyball, she had kind of seen everyone kind of go through it, so she kind of knew what the program was all about, obviously. Um, Brenna's very mature and we kind of, you kind of saw that as you watched her play and she, even for how young she is, like you can see the maturity on the court and that was really important. If, if, sometimes she would get a little razzled or, but we'd just kind of bring it in and calm her down, just, you're just a freshman, like it's okay, like, and we all, I think like us believing in her helped her believe in herself, so yeah, she was great this season. And some of the other younger players, uh, you know, you had some juniors step up, uh, Haley Sintobin, um, some others that, are, that that played really key roles, Lexi Lauer, uh, your sister, uh, Alexis, um, Kate seemed to be that, that change up almost. She would come in and, and do some things. Um, just uh, let's start with that. What was it like playing with your sister the last couple of years? It's been a lot of fun. And um, as a lot of people know, it's been a really hard decision this year not to play basketball. Um, because of my continual career in volleyball and every like moment I spend with her on the court it's just so much fun and like we we like know each other and like how to how to work with each other and it's really special and I'm gonna miss it a lot. Um, Maya did you get a chance to play with one of your sisters? Yes I did well not volleyball but basketball <laughs> and <laughs> yeah it was really fun playing with me, my sister Macy just because she was I think everyone remembers she was a very good player, so it was fun. Sometimes we butt heads at practice or something, but it was yeah. it was fun. I'll remember it forever. As a as the youngest of the three Thornton girls, was there any extra pressure on you that people just expected? Oh, well, there's another Thornton. She's going to be good. <laughs> I think uh, when I was younger, I felt that pressure a lot more just because my sister Maddie, but what if she was the on the team that won the state championship for volleyball. And, Macy, just everyone knows Macy, she was a great player in every, everything she did. So I think there was that pressure that I felt, but as the years went on, I just kind of like became my own player, I guess, and yeah, it became less and less. You know, when we were doing the player profiles, at least one of you, maybe a couple of you, mentioned the, the comeback against AC Valley your sophomore years as your favorite moment. Uh, did anything change because of what happened this year? Um, I think uh, our sophomore year, I believe it was, we lost them in regular season, and then yeah. district, we were down two games and came back and went through. So that was a really special moment for us. But I think this year, uh, we knew that they were a good team. We knew that it was going to be a tough game, and I think that it could have gone either way. I think the last game, we kind of played a little down, and we didn't play how we should have. But I think they're a great team, and they went pretty far this year, and yeah. What are some of the things that you'll remember the most about the team off the court? We were so silly. Like, we're, <laughs> we're literally best friends. We play every sport together. Like, we know each other inside and out. And we, we'd have group sleepovers, and we'd stay up all night. And tournaments were definitely really fun. We got yelled at a couple times <laughs> by coach for being too crazy. But. When you think about maybe 20 years from now, um, and you have kids, and or you're coaching, or something like that, and what do you think you'll 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 tell them uh, about your experiences with volleyball in high school? Um, I think for me, uh, Coach Campbell is definitely she's a great volleyball coach, but she's she also works um, a lot with us about um, kind of like self confidence and being composed, and just she teaches us a lot of life lessons and. Um, so that's what I am thankful for, I think, from the program, that I didn't just become a different, like, kind of volleyball player, just like a different person because of her and what the program taught me. And she always just, like, taught us that, you, like, nothing's going to be given to you, you need to work for everything. And so, yeah, I think that's what I'd say.
Yeah, <clears throat> I would say, yeah, the same thing. Like, um, she didn't just coach us to be good volleyball players. She taught us to be, like, good people. And she built all our characters in some different way. And um, it's definitely something we're going to take for the rest of our lives. And the bonds and <clears throat> the relationships that we've made throughout, that's definitely something I'm going to tell later on and making it to the final four. I'm definitely going to remember like the friendships I've formed and like growing up and playing volleyball with my teammates and my best friends. There's, there's really nothing better and I'm going to cherish these memories forever. Yeah, I think for me, the only thing I'm going to remember about high school is <laughs> volleyball and yeah. this team. So I'm just going to tell them about all the accomplishments, we, how far we've gone and how close I was with them. Well, ladies, thanks for taking a little bit of time with us today to sit down and, and talk about your season, kind of reminisce a little bit. Uh, is there anything else you want to add? I mean, you don't have to, but if there's anything else that maybe I haven't asked is, you know, maybe things that I don't know. <laughs> uh, I apologize for my voice. <laughs> we all forgive Alexis, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, thanks for joining us for this great discussion with the Clarion seniors on the Clarion volleyball team that uh, went to the PIAA semifinals this year and finished ranked number two in the state by the Coaches Association. So, again, ladies, congratulations on a great season. Thank, Thank you. you.